Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you for, for being here this morning. And um, to our speakers, representatives of the DPRM Steering Committee, and members of the media, good morning to all of you. Um, thank you for joining us today in the formal opening of the Development Policy Research Month celebration of the DPRM. Um, just a short background for some of you who are not yet familiar with DPRM. This is our annual celebration held every September pursuant to Presidential Proclamation Number 247, signed in 2002. So this is our 16th um, celebration. And this is actually spearheaded by the Philippine Institute for Development Studies. So we at PIDS actually have another reason to look forward to September, aside from being the start of the Vermont's or Christmas season. Um, the, we're celebrating the DPRM to highlight and draw awareness of the importance of policy research in the formulation of government policies, programs, and projects. Specifically, we want to emphasize the need for evidence-based policy making. Uh, we, want, um, we want to make sure that our policies are based on rigorous uh, research results. And this year, our theme is harnessing the fourth industrial revolution creating our future today. Or in Filipino, what we call, isulong ang fourth industrial revolution tungo sa katuparan ng ating kinabukasan ngayon. Why fourth industrial revolution? You might ask. Look everywhere and you'll see how technology affects our day-to-day -day lives. In other countries, you'll see driverless cars being developed. Even the simple task of ordering food or paying bills can already be done in the comforts of our homes. Those are just some of the many positive impacts of technology. And with the fourth industrial revolution, more technologies will surely emerge. However, if next steps are not carefully planned, these innovations also pose risk, especially for developing countries like the Philippines. Through this month-long celebration, PIDS hopes to to rouse the interest of policymakers about the fourth industrial revolution and influence them to prioritize this in the national agenda. We want to highlight the potential impacts of automation and other science and technology innovations so we can harness this to our country's advantage, not only in terms of improving economic competitiveness, but also in making progress both sustainable and inclusive. Our speakers for today, who represent various sectors, will help us shed light on how the fourth industrial revolution will affect key sectors in our society. Let me thank the members of the DPRM Steering Committee, um, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, Civil Service Commission, Department of the Interior and Local Government, National Economic and Development Authority, Philippine Information Agency, Presidential Management Staff, Commission on Higher Education, Department of Labor and Employment, Department of Trade and Industry, Department of Science and Technology, and Department of Information and Communications Technology for supporting us in making this year's past celebration possible. I've also been receiving feedbacks from other agencies and organizations informing us of their efforts to help promote the DPRM celebration through various activities including organizing activities or events relevant to the theme of this year's DPRM celebration. We thank you all for your continued support and cooperation. Today's press conference is just one of the series of activities we have lined up this September. We have the Mindanao Policy Research Forum, which is happening next week. Um, in fact, in, on September 11, we will be hosting a similar in, event on the fourth industrial revolution in Cagayan de Oro City in partnership with the Mindanao Development Authority. And we also have our main and culminating activity on September 19, the actual, the annual public policy conference, which will be held at EDSA Shangri-La. Again, th thank you so much for joining us today. 